Hello, my name is Jay Callanad, author of Relics of Hyrule, and this video is about a few starting weapons that you can find in Relics of Hyrule. And by starting weapons, I mean weapons you just started a character, you're level one, and you need a weapon, and maybe you want a Relics of Hyrule weapon. So, Here's a guide to three weapons that are really easy to find that you can start with in Relics of Hyrule. There are a lot of weapons in Relics of Hyrule, so you can find almost anything pretty quickly. But this is a guide to three, and then how to improve them over the course of your playthrough. So first things first, let's suppose you went through the normal start and you just left Helgen. So here's um, good old Rayloff. And you just left Helgen. There's the cave. You just popped out of Helgen. Um, right away, there's something that you can find. So as of 6.5.21, moving into the future, you leave Helgen. You come down this path. There's Bleak Falls Barrow over there. Over on this side, you'll be able to see a red glowing light. And that is a Relics of Hyrule Fairy telling you that there's something here. This is uh, the easiest one to find right out of the gate if you started with the standard Helgen startup. Um, so this is a red fairy, and this is an ancient chest. Inside the ancient chest is the hero's sword, which I, I need to make this character have the proper configuration of Sky UI, but you get the idea. So... There's the hero's sword. It is equivalent to a steel sword um, by default. So it's a decent starting weapon. And there's an encoded note. Um, there are a few ciphers and relics of Hyrule. Only a few, don't worry about it. And none of them are vital. But this is just a starting cipher to get you introduced. And the rupee. Good old rupee. And a uh, note that says this is a safe chest. So you can always use this chest. It will not respawn. I'm not going to touch it um, in any future update. So you can add stuff to this ancient chest and you won't have any problems. Um, this video is about weapons. So I'm not going to touch on armor, but there will be a starting set of armor if you're running version 6.6. .6. As of recording this video, 6.6 .6 is not out, but in version 6.6 .6, there will be a suit of armor, starting set of armor, in the general area of this chest nearby. It'll probably be down this way toward that cave over there, but it's not relevant and I can't show you anyway because it's not in the mod yet. It's being added in 6.6. .6. So that's one thing. Very easy. Very quick way to get an item. Um, there's another item near uh, Anissa's cabin and another one in Riverwood. So let's find Anissa's cabin first because it's on the way to Riverwood. She is across the stream. Now... One pattern that you'll see is that all of these starting weapons are near Riverwood, near Helgen. Um, I should probably equip the hero sword. Hey guys, how's it going? No, oh, oh, don't mind me. I'm not here. I don't exist. I should equip. Do I have a shield? Do I have a shield? I do not have a shield. Not here, not here. Don't mind me. Hey. Oh, jeez. Okay, he's dead. <laughs> okay, so... What do we got here? We have the standing stones. Beep, beep, beep. Rabbit. There's standing stones right there. So there's standing stones, and then there's Ember Shard Mine, which is down this way. Ember Shard Mine has a starting shield in it. So 
I'll discover the standing stones, and then we'll take a look at Ember Shard Mine. We're not going to go into Ember Shard Mine because once again, that's armor. It's not be it's beyond the scope of this video. But I will at some point make a video on starting armor, starting shields. So in Ember Shard Mine, there is a starting shield. You can see that there's a an orange fairy right there floating above Ember Shard Mine. Tells you there's a piece of armor in it, and it is marking that shield that I mentioned. Um, Anise's cabin should be that thing right there. So we're going to head across the stream to Anise's cabin. Find another starting weapon. Swimmy, swimmy. My character is exhausted. Here we are. Excuse me, I am recording a video. Cease your discussion at this time. Thank you. All right, you can hear the fairy. There's Anise's cabin. Red fairy means there's a weapon, and that weapon is in this chest. The chest is the Orden Sword, and the Orden Sword is by default equal in strength to a dwarven sword so that's a really good thing to find and it comes with a note hinting how to improve it um and it says um it gives some hint as to how you need to reforge it um doesn't tell you how much skill you need so that's another starting weapon that's a very good starting weapon and then the final one is in riverwood Where's Riverwood? Riverwood's over there. And Riverwood gives you another sword. So there's a lot of swords and relics of Hyrule. And not only does Riverwood give you a starting sword, it gives you sort of a starting hint on how to find... Uh, more things in Relics of Hyrule. So let's see here. Let's get on there. Down to Riverwood. Come on up. Alright. So you come up onto Riverwood and pretty much right away you can see the fairy it's right there instead of being a red fairy it is a pink fairy it is a pink fairy because it's marking both the weapon and one of the hints inside the forgotten chest you have a forgotten sword forgotten swords are uh, iron strength green rupee and hint note and it is telling you northwest to the ancient forge deep into the past follow the aeon path so those are three starting weapons. Like I said, there's so many weapons in Relics of Hyrule, so many items that you can find. Um, these are all in the general starting vicinity that you would normally have if you started in Helgen. So what if you start somewhere other than Helgen or Riverwood or Whiterun around that area? Well, unfortunately, a lot of items in the other holds are behind much more difficult uh, dungeons. These are out in the open. You can just pick them up. No biggie. Um, but there are a few that you can pick up and find relatively easily. One is near Rorikstead up here. So you can find a bow up here near Rorikstead. Um, in the Pale, this is a little more difficult. You could very quickly get in there and get a decent shield from a secret grotto in this lake um that's a piece of armor but it's not really you know it's still something and then up in shrouded grove up in the pale somewhere there's a, a really good dagger but you have to get in there and get out before you get killed by a spriggan or a bear so that's not quite as easy the easiest one to, ones to get are in this area by Helgen, 
those three that I showed you, and this one up by Rorikstead. Um, there's also the Forgotten Cavern um, up in uh, Whiterun, up in this area. You can find a few things up there as well. Um, and there's a follower up there that you can find as well. So there's a few things to get you started with Relics of Hyrule. Now, you find these three weapons up in Riverwood area. Um, how do you improve them? Um, over the course of your playthrough. Well, first thing you'll need um, for two of them is level 40 of smithing. For one of them, you won't need that, but I will show you how to improve them. All right, here we are. This is what you need. This is a cornerstone to Relics of Hyrule crafting, the Terminan Forge. It is very close to Rorikstead. Um, still in Whiterun Hold. And at Rorix, at the Terminan Forge, I mean, there is Althea. She is a follower. Is there something I can do for you? Lead the way. And in her inventory... Talk to her. What you got there, friend? She has a forgotten broadsword, so there's another weapon. By default, it's about steel strength. And she has a fairy letter, which is part of Relics of Hyrule. And some skull tool within them. But, so there's another weapon that you can get pretty easily. Um, if you have level 40 in smithing, you can use the Terminan Forge and hone the hero sword. You need steel ingot, fire salts, dwarven oil, but that will make the hero sword equal in strength to. One sec oh, glass sword. So that will make the hero sword equal to a glass sword. The Orden sword, you need 40 in smithing, dwarven oil, fire salt, and quicksilver. And that will make it equal in strength to an ebony sword. Um, and you can choose two different appearances for it. Um, for some reason, this is zoomed way out. But you can choose it make it look like the um, the way you found it, or you can make it slightly longer and sort of black. And then the Forgotten Sword is the easiest one to improve. You need two Forgotten Swords um, in order to make a Forgotten Sword plus one, and that will make it equal in strength to steel. But if you find two Forgotten Swords plus one, then that will add onto it even more. So you can actually make the Forgotten Sword go way up. By default, it's equal in strength to iron, and then you can make it steel, but you can make it go beyond dragon bone. But once you get to that point, it can't be tempered. So the Forgotten Sword is a great investment for a long process. Um, the Hero Sword and Orden Sword are really good for like a short... Um, if you get up to 40 smithing, you can improve them really short, really easily. The um, bow that I mentioned in uh, Rorikstead can also be improved. And the dagger that I mentioned that's in the pail can be improved as well. So that's pretty much it for some starting weapons in Relics of Hyrule. I hope this helped. Um, it's a good way to get started. You get a follower if you choose. You get a few decent weapons. Um, if you follow this path. And from there, it's sort of open-ended. The mod is very open-ended. I can't tell you everything. I already t I already said too much. But, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy the mod. And, uh... I'll see you around.